What is a morning? Is it the sound of your alarm going off? Your kids and loved ones waking up? The smell of freshly brewed coffee? It is fascinating to think of this routine we all have. Most of us wake up more or less in the same time. We drive our cars, we go to work, and we come back in the evenings. But what is the common nominator in all of this? The sun, a nearly perfect spherical ball of hot plasma, is the heart of our solar system, providing the energy that sustains life on Earth. At its core, temperatures reach about 15 million degrees Celsius, where nuclear fusion occurs, converting hydrogen into helium and releasing vast amounts of energy in the form of light and heat. This energy takes about 170,000 years to travel from the core to the surface through various layers, including the radiative zone and the convective zone. Once it reaches the photosphere, the sun's visible surface, the light travels to Earth in just over eight minutes. The sun's diameter is about 109 times that of Earth, and its mass accounts for 99.86% of the total mass of the solar system. It is classified as a G-type main sequence star, or G2V, which means it's in the prime of its life, steadily burning hydrogen for billions of years. However, like all stars, the Sun will eventually exhaust its fuel, expanding into a red giant and ultimately shedding its outer layers to leave behind a white dwarf. In 2001, I witnessed my first total solar eclipse. It was the most breathtaking thing I have ever seen at the time. I remember taking out a film from a floppy disk, folding it up and placing that in front of my binoculars. Ever since I wanted to see the sun with as much detail as possible and have been fascinated about the internal physical and chemical processes that brings us light, heat and life. With that in mind, I looked for a telescope that would be a good solar observatory as well and the Sea Star S50 was just perfect. ZWO supplies the Sea Star with a solar filter as well. All you need to do is place it in front of the telescope before shooting. The app itself has a built-in solar mode which will guide the telescope to face the sun. It will ask you prior to shooting to confirm the installation of the solar filter. For the best results, you will need to calibrate the compass and also level your telescope as much as possible to zero. I found that having it between zero and 0 0.5 would greatly improve the tracking and accuracy of the telescope, but at times you will need to manually look for the sun using the controls inside the app. Things like branches, power cables or clouds will confuse the telescope and results will be mixed. So, how do you think the sun looks like with the Sea Star S50?